the power of a heartbeat up for debate. Tonight, Missouri lawmakers are handling questions about unborn babies and their rights. This is not about abortion, but it could change thinking in Jefferson City. The question lawmakers are faced with, can an unborn baby work for the state? MoDOT says yes, putting it at odds with lawmakers. And this stance comes as MoDOT attempts to claim one of its workers who was pregnant and killed in an accident was also carrying an employee. First Lord Ford investigator Susan L. Corey explores the claims ahead of a capital clash. This proposed law is getting a lot of attention at the state capitol. The lawmaker behind it tells us it's common sense and said it's something he never imagined he'd have to work on. No mother should be standing here in this kind of pain. Tanya Muskoff holds homemade flyers. That's my favorite picture of her. Planning to pass them out at the capitol as lawmakers weigh what's being called Jax's law in the name of the grandson she never met and is now fighting to prove as an unborn baby he didn't work for MoDOT. I have no idea how, how they even came up with something so idiotic. Two years ago in St. Louis County, a driver crashed through a MoDOT work zone, killing two highway workers, James Brooks and Caitlin Anderson. Anderson was six months pregnant with Jax. All of MoDOT's failures are in here. First Alert 4 Investigates has been following the case for years, uncovering how MoDOT supervisors didn't have required safety training and didn't give the crew potentially life-saving equipment. Tanya Muskoff is suing MoDOT, but in court filings, MoDOT claims Jax was their employee and Missouri's workers' comp law protects them from liability in his death. Under the law, if you're unmarried and don't have kids younger than 18, your employer can argue they're not liable if you die on the job. Did Jax ever get a paycheck? Not that I know of. Did he go through an employment application? Nope. Was he ever a MoDOT employee to your understanding? Absolutely not. The case is getting the attention of Missouri lawmakers who want to pass a new law saying an unborn baby can't work for the state or any other business. It's a common sense law that a child that's unborn is not an employee of anybody. If he had been, he would have been in violation of child labor laws. So uh, I don't see how uh, an agency of the state of Missouri has the, uh, the goal, the outright goal, to claim an unborn child as an employee. We asked Governor Mike Parson his thoughts, but he wouldn't say where he stands. It's not appropriate for me to even comment on that right now because there is a court case on it to be able to do that. So we'll leave that with that. We'll let the courts decide that. Tanya Muskoff isn't giving a up. Baby bomb. On top of Jax's law, she's asking MoDOT to make safety changes, including expanding training and making protective barriers standard for all highway crews. My daughter and grandson are no longer with me and they need to take accountability for this. While lawmakers are looking at this, we know the same question is being considered by the Missouri Supreme Court. They're looking at the family's lawsuit against MoDOT in the coming weeks. Something will, of course, be following. Susan L. Corey, First Alert 4 Investigates. The hearing on this proposed law is tomorrow. It's still in the early stages. This was proposed in the House, so lawmakers there have to pass it in order for it to move on to the Senate and then, of course, eventually on to the governor. Corey. The